Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get a simple update for the spot trading. Just had a gentleman email O at eon.tv after we explicitly told everyone that they are to send no emails to that email address under any circumstances that it is not utilized that way. We've had several people do that. So, let's let you understand. The next person who sits up here and does not listen will be automatically put out and they'll be the first example. I will not play that. If you don't know how to follow instructions, you don't need to be a part of this. Now, if that throws any of you off, good. Leave now, those of you who are trying to be a part of this, because I don't have time for it. Now, this person was complaining about MoonPay. Says that apparently he had a situation and he had a hard time doing this and that and the other. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what your situation was. I have other people who have been using it nonstop for over three years, and they are not showing any concerns. They will actually let you know that they have tried using other wallets, like Trust Wallet, like we're using, or other wallets and other banking institutions for handling transactions and they've all run into problems with those institutions I can't help you with that that's not my problem not my fault not my concern if you've had a problem with Jimmy and Jimmy has decided that he's gonna keep causing you a problem then that's you and Jimmy but let me take the time before I go lay down for my afternoon little relaxation before we have our meeting and explain something to you. There is a company known as Dun & Bradstreet. We acquired a Dun & Bradstreet account because we thought we could provide a service for you guys. But none of you took us up on an offer and we gave that service to several people for free. We thought, hey, they will recognize the value of this and apparently they didn't. So we canceled our Dun & Bradstreet account. <laughs> They sent us a bill telling us, hey, uh, the bill renews and you are going to be $5,000 because it's a $5,000 a year account. And I wrote an email to the person that said no. So the person said, well, you had 30 days to opt out of this before it renewed. I said, really? Hmm. We had three weeks of no access to your services. And you told us you were going to give us credit if we signed on with you guys again there is no way in the world i would ever agree to something stupid like that told you at the time that was unacceptable and you said that's the only thing you could do so i took it out of your hands and i did the only thing i could do i canceled your stupid services after making all the payments ladies and gentlemen i made all the payments so that our company would have the credits because they are reporting agency so they'll report us having made all of the payments to them during that period so it'll increase the credits of the Eon Foundation but I told him I said now if you want to play said send this to your attorneys take a look at the bottom of this email and take a look at that contract with the notice of change in terms of condition you see that's why we have that on there for companies like that that think they want to get over on somebody and I told him about the opt-out clause and uh, fair and honest and workable and doable and expiration date and arbitration clause and commerce clause told him all the elements of a contract then I told him the second and third restatement of contracts are compliant with this particular agreement I said no all it requires is parties to be fair and since you want to be unfair and think you're gonna play this game telling us that we went over by a day and you moron you didn't understand that when we got your account it was after three o'clock in the afternoon said it's still eight o'clock in the morning so this is not the so-called starting of the contract at 12 a.m it is 365 days later so either way if you want to play with me i'm the wrong guy to play with trying to get technical I just received an email from the guy after I told him to have his attorneys look at it telling me that they like doing business with clients and they like cooperating between themselves and clients and they don't think that we would be able to do business moving any place forward so he's gonna grant my cancellation request 
I don't care. He can say it however he wants to put it. I told him if he wants to play, I don't have a problem. This is the year of the suit. This is the year of the lawsuit. <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this spot trading thing is becoming a little bit bigger than I anticipated, and I cannot. That's why I had to bring on a moderator to handle, pay attention, to handle the account. Here's the problem. Some of you are not going to play right. Some of you are going to play very, 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 very YouTube-like. You're going to come up with all of that YouTube stuff. This ain't that YouTube thing. Don't think you're going to come with something that I am helping individuals out with and come here with all that madness. I just listened to a 45-minute well, it was more than 45 minutes. I think it went over an hour. But I listened to 45 minutes of the conversation. They were talking about all the things that people have been doing, trying to discredit this organization. Now, this is not MoonPay. This is Barry. And this is the FS Global organization. They're out of South Africa. They are a human rights organization, also trying to help the community. I like it because they're saying some of the things that you hear me say. And now people are trying to accuse them of trying to defraud people. Well, guess what? The fact that they were able to come on and explain themselves and explain what has been happening and put up flyers of individuals going on Facebook and trying to discredit them on Facebook and actually put posting the junk that people have been saying. That's the same things they've done to me. Same things that they've done to me. The guy who... People paid $1,500 and got $75,000 worth of credits. But they say, I'm trying to get over on them. We're not even going to talk about the other ones who paid $1,500 for a certain side packs. Not only did they get the credits, but the QPAC people, they not only got the credits, but they got a $100 million bond. QPAC people, again, I can't tell you everything that you receive, you're going to have to go back and watch the videos and understand how to create your own bond and then do the tax credits on the $100 million. Sorry, I had to say that for the QPAC people because many of them think that what they paid, $550, includes us explaining everything to them. Ladies and gentlemen, it has never been that way. The reason why you're paying so less is because you're supposed to know what you're getting. And many of you don't know what you're getting. I have two people. We upgraded them to Omega Packs. The woman's son bought them, two of them, um, the regular SAT Pack with SATCOM. We upgraded them to the Omega Pack. Problem is, the son died in an automobile accident. Well, they don't know any of this stuff. And I had to simply let them know it's not my job to explain it to them. I don't care how nice they are. I don't care how pleasant they are. That's not my job. I am not going to feel sorry for you. Why? Because I have too many other things going on. So, I have told everyone to make sure you don't get got that only $175. And you must be afford to must be able to afford to lose the $175. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. For the members of SATCOM, I am putting in $175 for each member out of my own pocket. My own pocket. Why? Why am I doing that? For the members of SATCOM and AmeriLegion, why am I putting in that money for them? First, because I'll earn the interest on the money while it's in there. Second, after I earn that interest, they can do whatever they want to to the account. They just have to replace the monies plus the interest earned. Just that simple. And they have to follow the rules. Literally, just that simple. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 10 minutes worth of an update for you guys, but nobody told you guys you can communicate back with the O at eon.tv. Lord have mercy. Gotta go.